Nebraska lawmakers advanced the Let Them Grow Act to the final round of debate. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bill Shammer. I'm Quinicia Fraser. LB 574 would ban gender affirming surgeries and the use of puberty blockers for anyone under 19. KETV News Watch 7's Joey Safchik joins us live from Lincoln with today's developments. Bill Quinicia, the bitter divide remains here in Lincoln after an attempt at some last minute deal break making blew up this afternoon. The Let Them Grow Act advances to the final round as originally written with the promise of some fine tuning before that last round of debate. Omaha State Senator Kathleen Kouth sponsors the bill this afternoon, says she's open to changing it before it goes to the floor for final reading. Senators today rejected an amendment that would limit restrictions to just gender altering surgeries, something Kouth opposed. Opponents are skeptical about talk of negotiation. Omaha State Senator Megan Hunt today says she pulled motions after discussions with other senators only to see them flip when the amendment came to a vote. And after listening to what made me pull my motions was Senator Kouth saying, oh, and we've tried to compromise, we've tried to talk. Here's an amendment, for example, that nobody wants to even vote on. Let's vote on it. Show me the olive branch. I had filed a amendment on final reading to make sure that if something happened, we would be able to adjust. And that's what we're going to do. We will sit down, we will adjust. It is tricky for me because that means we're putting a lot of trust in this happening in the last stage debate. I had a conversation with Senator Brandt where I told him we're never gonna speak again because he didn't vote his conscience in his heart. And that's really, frankly, gonna be true of everyone. Senator Armendariz voted against this bill, now voted for it. Senator Hughes didn't vote for the bill last time and now voted for it clean. And just don't talk to me again, please. Any of you. I'm Bill Quinicio. We were up in the balcony when the bill advanced. People were in tears. A trans man we spoke to says he is terrified for what comes next here in Nebraska. I'm scared. I'm I'm not staying in the state any longer than I have to. The second I financially can, I'm going to Colorado because like they go for the youth now, they're gonna start going for the adults, and I, I can't, I will not survive if they take away my hormones. We also spoke to a doctor who works with trans youth in Omaha. He says surgeries for minors are extremely rare. In fact, he has never treated a kid referred for gender reassignment or gender affirming care in the form of surgery. Reporting live, Joey Satchik, KETV. News Watch 7.